bitch, I'm the yeah, same nigga. nigga. Pull up for that three. Crunch time, this shit like Dame Lillard. Like Dame Lillard. Oh, look goodness. at this shot by Lillard. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Dame Lillard at the buzzer. Oh my goodness, what a shot. You're I'm sorry, you went wrong. And this is Terror Zero Turnable Podcast. Once again. Jesus. <laughs> I'm Jari. Hey, yo, what's wrong? What's up, y'all? My name is Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jari. Hey, yo, what's wrong? What's up, y'all? My name is Kyle. And this is the Zero Turnable Podcast. <laughs> So my question of the day is, like, how do you feel about Green Street, like, with them losing with full sport? They ass, booty butt cheeks. They they trash because all our best players left and went to a different school. That's why they trash. We mostly got new players came to that school just to play. Got blown out that second game, and they was talking all that shit for no fair reason. Okay, you gonna break the table? Oh, my bad. What's your opinion on As a former student and then played a little bit of time there, they, they got bad coaching all around. Don't matter how you pit it. Even when we had the best players, it's still not good. And then on top of that, they will never be good, even with the best players they get. And then they don't recruit nobody. It's all the same players, even from middle school. And then all the way up, they will still be the same. I'm not going to lie. I only stayed like five minutes for real, then I just left out because I had something to do in the house. So I didn't know about like what was school or any of that until I got home and I checked my phone one time and I just seen it. I was like, dang, they get smoked out like that? Yeah, man, because they don't have good coaching. Now, if they bring in a different coach and a different staff, it'd probably be better. Like, yeah, we'd be good, but they probably will never will. they stick with the same people and just get the same results. Like last year, when we I was there, we got picked on second round. And they said, Dang. Yeah, yeah, by Joppa Town. You didn't see that? Yeah, we, you didn't see, we got beat by Joppa Town. And they, we beat them the first game, but the second game in the playoffs, we got beat by Joppa Town. And we went to that field. What, what was the score? Probably like 30 to 6. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. And then they came back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, it wasn't our fault. We didn't have all. No, it was your fault because our QB was injured, our wide receiver was bad, corners were short. Linebacker was good, but they moved him to safety. See, bad coaching all around. Bad coaching, terrible. And one thing that they need is always have a backup. And also, they need more people who is like real fast, like stamina and agility to me is key. Yeah, it's key, but they don't have a backup. They never have a backup plan. They always want the starters to play every single snap. And then that's when they don't. And then when practice hit, they don't really work on nothing. They don't work on hitting, bro. No. They don't do no hit. All they do is plays and deep. They don't do no hit. No hit. <coughs> OT moment. <laughs> so let me ask you this. What what teams or high school teams y'all think is like the top ranked ones right now? Like in general? Then I'm gonna say for basketball, I'm most definitely gonna say Emerson. I was gonna say that Emerson. I'll say Emerson too. I'm but gonna football it's between Dunbar, City, Polly, and Merville. Yeah, but I agree with that list. No, I would say Myro. Merville football team is getting up there. No, they definitely is. They they really put that work in. They actually recruit people and bring good coaching and got, everything. They got fast people. They know I hit. Man, they QB. They, they got a nice QB too. Yeah, that too. That's why I said I wish our team. I wish our school could be like that last year, but my last year. But nope. Gotta be trash. Coaching. It's, I feel as though that's way important because it's all because when you coaching, you communicating to your students, you letting them know what they need to do and how do they do that certain type of thing. So we could keep that as a whole type of way to teach others if we want to be like that one day. Like if we want to coach somebody, we can help them out too. It, it has a very good impact on a team and how you structure it and how you go about it. And then it basically shows them like, yeah, if we do this, put in the work, and we all bring it all together, then you got a team and a great structure, and then you can win games. Yeah, especially good, good coaches help the players understand the playbook, how the uh, team play, and all that. 
So like when like coach call a play and they don't know the play, that's how you know you did bad coaching. So how the players gonna know what the playbook is if they don't know what the play is? So this one I want y'all to do. Through y'all sports journey, shout out that one coach that really did a good job for you. It could be a Pop Warner coach, whatever. Throughout your sports journey, who's that coach? Shout him out. Man, I might have to say it to my father. He was the best coach I ever had. Shout out Coach Grant, man. I got two coaches. I got two coaches. I got my man Coach Grant back there. And I got my uh, Coach Sean. The new song. Coach Sean had a new song. Yeah, he good through them two. They helped me get through a lot of things. They helped me get through a lot of things. <laughs> I'm about to say Coach Speedy, Coach Grant, and I'm about to say my coach, also my boss right now, where I'm working at, Coach Ross. <laughs> Shout out to coaches, man. Yeah, that's Shout good. Coaches, yeah, they man. get us through a lot of things. They show us about life, sports, and past. When you want to stop playing sports, they show you life. It's a great thing. Talking about coaches, man. How y'all feel about Coach Primetime Deion Sanders. How y'all feel about him and what he's what what he's brought to Colorado? What he's bringing is something different, something more fun, and something that he's building that wants to be bigger than football, better than probably life. Really, he's just showing you both sides of it, and then show you that it's better than that. You could go pro, or you can just go through life, and he's just bringing more fun to it. And you see how. The college world reacting to it. They like it, some like it, some hate it, and he just doing him. He don't care. Yeah. So how you feel about Coach Brown? I didn't see none of this, so I don't have no opinion on it. Yo. Oh, y'all don't keep up with uh, football, uh, college football? Not really. I, I mean, but it is all over the internet, too. Like, literally, everywhere I didn't, you go, I know that's what I'm saying. Right I didn't. There. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't yeah. see none of that. All right, what's your, what's your, uh, your favorite NFL team? I don't have any. Man, you're not a football guy. Well, I have a favorite football team. Mm -hmm. Favorite football Lord. team is the big one. I want to say the Browns. The Browns? Okay. That's the old Ravens. You don't know that story, huh? They packed up in the middle of the night. I, I, do. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. Well, mine is Carolina Panthers. For real? Yep. Okay, we got a whole bunch of trailers in the house. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been liking them since we lost the Super Bowl. What are we talking about? Since yeah. they lost the Super Bowl? Yes, since 2015. They lost the Super Bowl. So right now, I know the season early, but who y'all got coming out for the conferences? Who are the top teams y'all see coming out? <sighs> I, I'm sorry to say this. I'm going to have to say the Steelers. The Steelers. Got the Steelers? I say the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, uh, in my division, I got Tampa Bay. Be realistic. Tampa in my Bay. division, yes. I got it realistically. I got the Eagles, yeah. Mm, that's a good one. Eagles. I was going to say the Seahawks at first. Seahawks? I was like, I, I, was like I, haven't heard really, I haven't heard really much from them. Yeah, the all I heard was Geno. Not good no more. He not like last year. You know who I was expecting to see? The Jets, man. Oh, that's Ooh. another one. But now I don't care now because Aaron Rodgers tore his again. Yeah, four plays. Mm. Four plays, only four snaps. Yeah, oh, my, got Miami Dolphins fell off. No, they all they know they didn't. They still good. They just gotta did what they did last year. But because mm. I haven't heard nothing of them playing in the playoffs. No, no. <laughs> I really haven't. I mean, they couldn't be a contender. You can't count them out yet because they got two fast receivers. I'm then... predicting that it's not happening. Is it? That defense is getting okay. No, that defense is okay. It's like mid. It's like mid defense. The defense not... is ass. <laughs> the defense is ass. <laughs> the defense is alright, but all it's right. not best. It's not top of the line, but it's there somewhat. Okay. So y'all know we got the fall league coming up. You feel me? We trying to put the team together right now. Y'all got any players that y'all want to shout out? Y'all think that need to come on, come over to our side? I'm about to say, besides Duda, I'm about to say Sant. A Sant? Yeah. Shout out to Sant, man. You feel me? Zero turnovers, alumni. We 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 probably could get a Sant. Trying to think who who else? 
sister because I know she liked playing basketball. She played basketball a lot. She used to play basketball at her old school, Mary E. Robin, till she transferred to Green Street. I don't even know if she could play now. So, like, you know, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. It's like, you know, y'all ain't really get the, you know, really get in the league this summer. I want y'all to air out, like, how y'all feel about you know, not enough programs where the older kids could play. How y'all feel about that? Terrible communication. Bullshit. I, I feel... I have to bleep it out. Oh, my bad. I feel <laughs> bad. I feel bad because we actually, all three of us, not speaking for all three, but saying in general how we feel about it, like we should have played a lot more because we actually met each other, all of us. At least Kyle. We know each other for years. But when we met Kyle, he was cool, dude. Met him, started getting a little bit of chemistry on the team and all that, but we didn't really... Put in the team effort on the court and show everybody that we can hoop. We didn't play no games, but all we did was did practice, 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 scrimmage, practice. scrimmage, Most waste our time. Yeah. Wake up every morning oh, just to come and practice. To you know, play no games. Yeah, that was hilarious. all they were about was little kids playing mm-hmm. games. That's exactly why I didn't want to be on that team. So that's, that's why I'm trying to find a different team to go play for. Y'all, I mean, y'all mm-hmm. did get the uh, run up COVID there. That one game, bro. They really got. It. They I, did y'all lose both games, right? Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The last game y'all won. That was the no. when Reds and them came. Reds no. came the first half. When they look, 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 look. over there. No, we lost. They both lost both games. games. Cause when Reds games. came in the other half, we we lost that one. When they had the purple shirts, we still lost that one. What about when um Big when Boy they and go, we came? We still, still lost. lost. We, still yes. lost. we lost. Oh, they all lost all games. Run yeah. that tape back. I <laughs> saw <laughs> we won the last game. No, we lost. We lost, we lost like we lost. The only reason we got trophies because we was the only team there. Yo, so y'all know I'm a, I'm gonna put the clips up in the background, but. I swore y'all won that last game. Oh, Even though I wasn't there, no. just a disclaimer. No, no, we lost that. No. Yeah, you bad. And I'm, <laughs> damn. <laughs> that is true. Yes. But I feel as though if they taught us some like new stuff, like some new moves and something, we probably better have something going down because we don't do nothing but learn the same type of moves. Pretty much. Yeah, we yeah we'll get them pet down easily. But another thing is, if we're not learning new moves or not. But I feel like even if you learn and if you ain't executing, if you ain't having no games to play, like what's the yeah, point? Yeah, it was kind of right. It was kind of like pointless. We right, but I'd rather still try to learn something new, so at least I would probably know what I'm doing right off my own head. Like right. say, for example, we set up a two three, then we switched our offense because we got on turnover. If one of us already drives in. We will already have a no- whole number of type of moves that like blow by past defenders, if we really wanted to, or go ahead and fake on pass. But at the same time, if you don't know your team, you don't got no yeah, team. Y'all ain't got no chemistry. Had, yeah, we uh-huh. kind of when we did play that somewhat game, it was horrible because we didn't really play and didn't know time. We really wanted to, to rematch them on a better court. And then that didn't happen, so we pretty much wasted our time. And then pretty much wasted everybody's time just sitting there, doing nothing with it. Just sitting there, go to practice every morning, do nothing with it. Then when we did play the tournament up Carver, didn't go so well. Yeah, that didn't, didn't go so well. And then, because nobody, we didn't, we didn't have a team. We had a team. We didn't have a team. Had chemistry or none of that. None of that. I we thought we know. vowed to never speak of that again. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt we felt No, listen, listen. The only reason I'm bringing up, the only reason I'm bringing up is because it's a point that we all saw right then and there, even before y'all got COVID, that we had no chemistry. We didn't work. It seemed like we never worked with each other day in our life. Even though we practiced together and scrimmaged together, we never really been on the court against another team. None of that. We were just against each other. 
it was kind of pointless. Then again, we also had like random people coming up. On That's what I'm saying. So we all had different plays. So we all had different ways we all played, but we didn't bring it all together. Right. And then they didn't work out for none of us. And then we was all just kind of annoyed of it now at that point. And then when y'all went to Cloverdale, then go as planned evil. Well, if y'all tired of the <laughs> coach dancing all in the camera, shooting the ball, y'all ain't getting no run. Come on over to Zero Turnover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good program we got going here. Yeah, Zero Turnover. Is Don't make sure y'all get that work. Yeah, you feel it. Zero Turnover is a great program. It's going to be a great thing for everybody. For the fall season, I really probably, I'm most definitely ready to do this lead with y'all. And especially with me bolting up more, I'm going to be a big body. Yeah, we might need you to lose the ball and shake him off. <laughs> no, not like, not, not like bulky, bulky. I'm talking about like, we don't want you looking too grown now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like have put some more muscle into me, especially since I got weight training as a class now at my school for my first semester. And that's a elective weight training? Yeah. Okay, that's lit. And my job is at a gym too. Okay. So, with me doing all that, I think I'm going to do pretty good, too. Man, I'm just going to bring chemistry for the team. We're just going to work together, do the plays right. If not, we're just going to do If you open, I'm going to pass you the ball. If you're not, I'm going to get you open. So you get that rock. Yeah, and we're going to have chemistry the whole game. Yep. I'm going to try to work on my team leader skills and be more patient of what, everything I do and try to be a better team mate to everybody that I play with. I like that. Because you need that. You need patience. What you just said was yeah. good. Yeah, you need patience, you feel me? Oh, but um, no what we're going to do on our side, we're going to make sure we get y'all into some good leagues, you feel me? Bentlow is just one, you feel me? It's a whole bunch of leagues, you feel me? Especially for, you know, the older so kids. So we just going to collect with Bentlow? No. 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 I just, so, you just missed it. Is that everything I just so said? So basically, we're <laughs> we just playing that league, but we're playing other different leagues. This is, with Bentlow... They really cater into the kids, the younger kids, you feel me? So it's other leagues, you know, for the older kids that we're going to tap in. But, you know, we're going to make sure we get the team, make sure we don't look stupid out there. And, we, yeah, man, make sure y'all got your chemistry and make sure, you know, we do it right. We do it professionally, you feel me? So we, we definitely going to do that out. And me and Coach Brandt. Y'all just be ready to go. You feel me? Yeah. Another Zero Turnable Podcast. Great thing. Thank you. More things to come. I'm about to say shout out to my girl Chelsea. You know we on some dead times right now, but you know. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me out, 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 hear me out. I know we on some bad times, but you know we building it back up, and I'm cool with that. Just need to stop playing. Got me over here doing podcasts with my with my team, looking like Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shout out my girl Daniel, and I'm gonna shout out my mother. First of all, I'm going to shout out my mother. She always got my back. And I'm going to shout out my father because he always got my back too. But I'm going to definitely shout out my girlfriend because she's going to keep cheering for me. Got any call-ups? You said the what? Any call-ups? I'm going to call out you again. All right, I'll get my rematch. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you lose the card, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We about to shoot that 1v1. Yeah. And yeah. then Luke got out. I got calling out Lou. I got to call out Ronald, Tyree. Damn. Damn. Lou and Bam. Damn! Oh. Listen, let's start with one first. <laughs> you gotta beat the one first. All right, then, Ron. I got Lou. I'm going okay. Lou. So you see that Lou? No, oh, okay. Yeah. And here's my reason why I had to call everybody up. It's only because since I haven't played with y'all in a minute, I gotta see how I'm working with y'all since mm. I haven't done nothing with y'all in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Since school, yeah, I'm starting to get screwed. Huh? Wrong am get screwed. So uh, we about to go shoot that one v one. So you mean? Actually, two. Did Luke come down? Yeah, we about to shoot. One, one. We got the camera. Yeah, Luke come it's down. Yeah, in episode three. And what? That's gonna be. That's four episodes. That's four and then five, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's gonna be five. Because mm-hmm. if Luke come down, I can do me and Luke, and then y'all do. Mm-hmm. And then Bam. Once Bam figure, <laughs> once Bam see, he be like, all right, Bam. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Bam. Bam actually. It's he's top of the team. He's ranked number one. He's ranked number because he was two and zero. He's two and zero. And then I'm second. Second. Technically, I'm ranked. Unranked. Y'all unranked because y'all I'm, ain't got no wins. I'm ranked because I ain't really done that yet. <laughs> you you already done. I know that because of you. We're gonna catch me today. No, because of you. So let 
make sure to tell the people to subscribe so they can see all the uh, action and all the comments. Make Stay sure tuned. To... Subscribe. We coming with all and the like, best and 1v1s. Like, like, comment, turn on post notifications so y'all can be sure to see what we're going to do next for out the future. Yes, professional. Oh, all the 1v1s coming. <laughs>